What's up, divas? What's up, divas? What's up, divas? Y'all already know what time it is. It's Real Talk Wednesday, girl. What's up, everybody? What's up? So I hope we all having like a really great day. Thanks for staying too. Thanks for coming through. Welcome back to my channel. You already know how we do. We just gonna get into the real talk. We're gonna talk. We're gonna chit chat. We're gonna give our advice and all that. Okay. So I hope y'all all having like a really great day. Girl, look, okay. There is so much going on in the world today. Like I seriously was not well, I was expecting this, but I really wasn't expecting this. <sighs> some people just don't know how to act in in real life. Like seriously, some people really don't know how to act in real life. Um, I know y'all heard about P. Diddy, like everybody done heard about P. Diddy. Those that don't live on this earth done heard about P. Diddy, okay? So we all know how that's going down. I wasn't expecting it to go down like this, though. But I've been saying this for years about him, like for the past, like, six years. Everybody that deal with him either go broke or die. I've just been felt that way about him. Like, he either have artists that are broke or they die and that's unfortunate and i've been saying this about him i never was like a huge p diddy fan i just really wasn't into all the bouncing around in everybody's videos that's the same thing i feel like about jermaine dupree he's in everybody's videos like can these artists get a chance like you don't have to be in everybody's videos and that's just how i felt about both of them i just didn't like the constant constant appearances in every artist's videos just let them do their thing but i've been saying that people that deal with diddy either are a pub daddy whatever you want to call him they either go broke a lot of them have went broke and a lot of them have passed away which is unfortunate so i really didn't see this coming down and trickling to this effect you know whatever the outcome is i hope it's all for the best you know it's just it's just it's just, um, I don't know the right words to put it, but it's just sad to see that our own race, they just do the dumbest, the most fickle shit ever. Like, seriously, like with R. Kelly, um, with him, you know, I've seen that tape, okay, with R. Kelly, when it came out forever ago. And now with, you know, with Sean Combs, you know, I really can't really say too much about um, Bill Cosby because I just, I don't know about that one. Like that one right there, I was all team Cosby. I just really didn't feel like he did any of what these women were saying. Um, I just really didn't. Um, you just never know though about people. You just never know. But I'm just really disheartened and disgusted. But you know, people are what they are, you know, you know, whatever is in the dark will definitely come to light. You know, karma will come back around and get you. It may not come and get you real quick. For some people it does, but for some others, they have money, enough money to to make that karma kind of like stand off for a while. So, you know, you know, I try to stay out of this drama. Celebrities, they really don't mean much to me. They're just human people, but it's just sickening the way some people can deal and do their daily life. But anyway, other than that, you guys, um, yeah, I've been just chilling. Um, I do have a uh, vlog video coming out. I don't know if I want to put it out today, which is really Tuesday, or if I want to do it on Friday. You know what I'm saying? I haven't posted a video since like a week ago, uh, last Friday. So I'm really not like, I've already edited. I just need to edit the thumbnail. So it probably won't come out until Friday because I'm kind of busy today. I do have to go to the post office and mail out some orders that I have. And then tomorrow is Wednesday. So of course it's Real Talk Wednesday when y'all will be watching this. So it probably won't come out until Friday, but make sure y'all watch it. You know, I do show my room decor, my room makeover, me building stuff. Girl, listen, I'm Handy Muff, Handy Muff, Muff the Builder is what they call me. I do it all here. I change tires. I change car batteries. I change car headlights. I I, I do enough for cars, okay? Um, I haven't changed oil, but I'm, I'm almost there. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm almost to that level where I can change oil. You know, I'm Handy Muff. You know, I try to teach my daughters they can do this on their own without the help of any individual, man or female. But yeah, so I've been doing that. I went back to wearing my individual lashes, okay? So in case you guys are wondering, these are actually actually clusters individuals i have two videos on my channel that i have showed how to um, install clusters or individual lashes and i went back to wearing those um i'm not really sure why i did give them a break for like two years and you know i do get tired of waking up in the morning and i look like a mole rat you know what i'm saying i have very little lashes and i'm just getting tired of looking like a mole rat so i just figured you know what I'm just gonna do my individuals. I had loads of them left. I normally would wear like either these, which is the Ardell ones, um, in case you're wondering. But I went and I got a little snazzy on them. I got a little snazzy on everybody. You know, I went and I did something different. I did purchase some on Amazon. And you know, I love Amazon because you can definitely send stuff back that you were not expecting it to look that way. So I did get some brown. These are brown that I have on my lash. My eyes currently, I think like the brown looks best versus the black. Now these are a pair that looked super duper cheap. They were very black, just definitely not for me. Um, but you know, and then some of them do have like a different type of style to them. So yeah, I think I'm thinking that I may just do a whole new video of installing um, individuals and in clusters. I'm not really sure, I already have two videos. 
But um, I may do that. If y'all want to see a new video of how I do it, it's the same way. But I can definitely do a new video with these clusters and introduce them, what I use now. But I use the same glue. I use the same method. Um, I do see a lot of these different companies coming out with um, <clears throat> doing the clusters to individuals. And they all are saying put them under the eye, which I've been doing for years. And the reason why I've been doing this for years is because my good friend Robin loved Kiss 99. This is how she taught me to put on the individual's clusters. So when I did make a video about it, um, I did have to turn the comments off on one of them because a lot of people were, you know, just giving me a lot of backlash about, oh, you shouldn't do that. That's not how you wear them. You're doing it all wrong. Just a lot of negativity. So I did turn the comments off. And now here we are years later, and this is how everybody wants to wear them. Like, okay, some of you guys that do do individuals or clusters and you use those kits, um, those kits are not really worth much. The glue in those little wands are really not worth much. You need to get yourself like some really good glue and not use the seal that's part of those kits. Uh, the seal bond makes your lashes crunchy and hard. I've used it and I used it uh, about a week ago just to see what it was like and definitely wasn't my thing. So yeah, I ended up removing those lashes. But my lashes normally last me like a week and a half to two weeks, you know, depending on how I am with them, you know. But um, yeah, I like waking up looking pretty, looking cute. You know what I'm saying? Something like that, something like that. Um, Birthday is coming up. June is coming up. And yeah, about, about to be 50. Now I did tell um, a couple of people in in the comment section um, that were asking me was I going to have a baby shower for my daughter-in-law who's due in June, June 5th. She's having her fourth baby with my son, another little boy. That's all they have is little boys. But I do want to give her a baby shower. So I'm going to um, put up a registry for her. And um, the reason for this is because I'm just going to be honest because I was waiting to April to talk about this with my son and um, about my regarding my son. And I'm still going to, you know, speak about it. But I just want to put a little bit of information out there. The reason why I want to wait is because that's when the case will be closed. But now it's not until May 2nd. But the reason, um, the reason why I'm doing a baby shower, a virtual baby shower for her is because you know, I wouldn't be a real person if I wasn't honest with you guys and tell you how I really feel. And though we are parents, you know, not all of our children are angels. Some parents, they just can't accept the fact that their child is not that great, not the best, not the best person in the world, not that great, not the greatest person in the world, or a little troublesome. Um, some people don't like to admit to the fact that their kids are aliens or shit starters or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be the first to admit, you know, I, I'm not, I don't know if I'm the first to admit, but I will be honest and tell you. And I've been told my daughter-in-law, my son has a lot of growing up to do. And um, unfortunately, he's gotten himself in some trouble where he'll be gone for a few years away from his family and his children. And unfortunately, he will not be able to see his fourth born child because he'll be going in on May 2nd. Um, and it's unfortunate, you know what I'm saying? But there's only so much that I can do. There's only so much that I can say to you and tell you. You know, it's uh, it's sad because a lot of these, these young people that get into these type of troubles, they feel like we don't know or we were from that type of cloth. Neither were you. And I know more about the street life than you would ever know, young man. You know what I mean? But I, I've been warned him and I've been told him about his character and the things that he was doing. And, you know, karma will catch up to you. You understand what I'm saying? Karma will definitely catch up to you, which is unfortunate. Um, and I love my son to death, but I would be a liar. I would be lying to myself and to anybody else if I said that um, if I didn't admit to my son's wrongdoings and how he is. He has a lot of growing up to do. And it's, un it's unfortunate because I didn't raise him this way. You know what I mean? But karma does catch up to you. And I don't wish ill or ill on anyone. Never did, never will. But I just feel like it's karma. And when I tell you something over and over and over and over and over and over again throughout your life, then you would think that I knew what I was fucking talking about, right? So yeah, you know, um, it's a hard knock life. But you know, when you do the crime, you got to do the time. And it is what it is. Um, and it's unfortunate like, that you decided at the age of 31 to do some dumb shit that you would get yourself in trouble. You know what I'm saying? Not only get yourself in trouble but you take away from three plus four little boys that don't deserve to go through anything traumatic you know what i'm saying like these kids they love their father they love my son they love him to pieces and i just i feel for her because i know what it's like to be a single mother and when you're in in a relationship and you're about to have a baby you would think that both parents would be there and that's how you would want it 
But no, he done fucked it up to the point where he can't even be there. He's not going to be there. He's not going to be around. He's not going to be around for a few years, for like three, four years. So you fucked it up for not only yourself, but for your family. And I'm like kind of disappointed. I'm truly disappointed. Not kind of. I would be lying if I said I was kind of. I'm truly disappointed. I'm truly disappointed in his ways and his actions and his behavior. But, you know, it is what it is. I just said something about karma. You can you can continue to do dirt, but that shit will definitely come to light. And I'll, I'll definitely tell you guys more about it when it's all over and said and done. You know what I'm saying? So I would definitely be able to give you guys like a true time frame or time stamp of the time. But yeah, he'll be gone um, to the feds for about three to four years. So I figured I would try to help my daughter-in-law the best that I can. You know, of course, I'm always going to be there for her as I always am. But I just feel a big disappointment in him, within him. And I just didn't raise my kids like that. And it's one thing, you know, I've had five kids. I've lost my middle son. And now it's like, now you going to jail for dumb shit that you could have avoided. It just feels like my work is never done. Um, constantly trying to raise people regardless of their age. It just feels like that. And it's unfortunate. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not embarrassed to say I'm hurt. Okay. But I had to realize, like, you're a grown ass man. You're going to have to fend for yourself. You're going to have to do what you need to do, which is best for you. But I'm going to make sure that your kids and your your lady are surviving out here. So I am I am going to put together a um, baby registry for her on Amazon. You know, the same thing that we did um, for my granddaughter. And um, whatever you guys, you know, can think of, let me know. Um, but um, I've been trying to, you know, to help her out as best as I can. You know, my daughter-in-law is an amazing young lady. She's amazing. And I feel like she's amazing. I know she's amazing. She's a great mother. They have three boys already. So, you know, they'll have four. But the third one, he's three and he's autistic. Uh, they said he was nonverbal, but he's been going to a program. So he's been learning to say little things, which is amazing. I feel like he's been going to this program and it's been doing really well for him. Even though it's from seven to ten, it's only, what, three hours, four days a week. He's been doing really good. His behavior has changed. He's been able to say certain things. And she works so well with him. She does so well with him. She's so patient with him. And I give it to her. Like, I don't know if I could handle that, but I guess I could if that were one of my children. So I love her to pieces. She's an amazing young lady. She goes hard for her family. She works hard. You know, she's a good mom. And I just honestly feel like she deserves so much better in life, like so much greatness. And I tell her this all the time. And I let her know, like, if you guys are together, because they are kind of like broken up now because um, of the dumb shit he's done did. I let her know I'm going to always be there for you. And she always says, oh, you're always going to be my mother. And I appreciate that. You know, I'm I'm grateful for her. And I would never tell anybody less than if I feel like you deserve better, regardless if it's with somebody in my family, I'm going to let you know you deserve better. As a single woman, as a single mother and as a black mother, I have to. And as a mother, I have to be honest and let you know I, I'm going to put her together a um baby, virtual baby shower. Um, and this baby's due June 5th. I was hoping the baby would come around for June 19th. You know, that's my B-day. But um, she says that she's always like two weeks late. June 19th is exactly two weeks late. So we shall see, okay? But yeah, I'll definitely give you guys more information on this, this situation. But I will definitely be putting together a baby registry for her. So um, you can see it on my community tab. Or you can, or I'll, you know, I might put it in this video if I get a chance to do it or I'll come back to it. But either way, yes, I would like to do a virtual baby shower for her for those two women that have asked me. Um, I think it was two. It might have been more than that. I know I got a private message and I got a comment and then I got another message. So I do believe it's more than two. But I'll definitely be doing a virtual baby shower for her. And let me tell y'all, thank y'all for the virtual baby. I know this is well long ago and I've said thank you millions of times. But I still want to say thank you for the virtual baby shower for Tato because let me tell y'all, y'all have said her so much things and she's so tiny that she's still wearing a lot of the clothing that she was gifted and all, you know what I'm saying? Like, so it was such a help and a blessing. It was such a blessing to have come together and see how much, you know, see how many people love and care for you. It's just like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I really appreciate it. So I know I've said thank you for this millions of times, but I still want to say thank you because I look at some of the things that she has and I'm like, this wouldn't be even possible if it wasn't for all of you guys. So I just, you know, thank you again. But enough of that chitter chatter. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get into this real talk. If you want a real talk about you, you can send me an email to mufflinsmylovers2012 at gmail.com or you can send it to my real talk, which is April's Real Talk um, at gmail.com. If you don't want your name, your real name mentioned in the story, make sure you let me know that or put yourself a fake name or what have you. But we're going to get into this real talk because I'm telling you guys, there's some shit.
Okay, first of all, y'all, let me tell y'all. You know, I try to give everybody grace. I try to give everybody the benefit of the doubt. I try to get to every email that I receive for real talk. There was a time when I used to do two, two at a time. I would do two every Wednesday, okay? And I had to like, kind of like step back for that because you realize I do have a life. I do have a family to attend to, but it also comes in as it comes in. So it don't matter how important your shit is. If somebody has wrote before you, theirs is before you. Their shit is just as important as yours. And I say this only because this email, like I really don't even feel like reading it, but you know what? I'm going to be the bigger person in this whole entire real talk episode. And I'm going to read the email, but I'm not going to leave anything out. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to read it as it is, but it's just crazy because the audacity of people and the entitlement of people, it's like, who do you really fucking think you are? And I have no problem with telling you, reading you about who the fuck you are, in period. But I try to give a person grace. I don't try to come off as, you know, violent, uh, harsh, uh, rude. I never try to come off as that type of person. But then there's some instances where it's like, girl, you need to learn when to shut the fuck up, okay? Not STFU, but shut the fuck up, okay? And I'm gonna just say this about this person. Some of y'all are probably gonna feel a type of way, especially for those who wrote in or written in about a certain type of issue, but I just feel like this. Stop feeling so entitled and just stop. Just stop feeling so entitled. But anyway, so <clears throat> I titled it Okay, brace yourself. She said her shit is more important. Hi, April. My name is Latibia, and I hope you can hurry and get to my email because this is important. Not saying anyone else ate, but my shit needs attention and I am in need of advice. It would be great if you could put this as priority as I have already waited two weeks prior to this email being sent. And I have a question. Also, thank you for reading this. You can call me by my government name as that is what I prefer to be called. Latibia. So I have an issue at hand, which I'm hoping you can enlighten me on. My daughter is 15 and she swears she knows everything. What I mean is she thinks TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook or whatever other social media outlet has all the correct answers. Like everyone pushing out videos knows what they are talking about. For one, I am 36 years old and I have four children and been on this earth way longer than she has. We are constantly getting into arguments because she always trying to tell me I'm wrong because she's seen someone on TikTok talking about the issue at hand. No matter what I'm talking about, she will go search TikTok and come back with some bullshit. Not only are we arguing countless times, but she'd be saying real disrespectful shit out her mouth to me. If I tell her what she wearing is too grown, she want to come at me like I'm a student at her school and let me know her fit is perfectly fine and I should worry about what people my age are wearing. Mm -hmm. She dresses like she ready to work the damn streets and that is not proper school attire. She stay calling her father and informing him on my choices and what I am doing. When her father is nothing but a no good ass ninja. He don't buy her shit nor does he pay for child support. So I'm not understanding what say he has in any of my parenting. I'm tired of the chit chat coming from her mouth. No teenager should be disrespectful to their parents. Yeah, I buy her clothes, give her money, put a roof over her head, etc. So why am I getting the short end of the stick? I know you have kids, so that is the reason why I'm asking you. No disrespect to anyone else who has written in, but I feel like my situation is more important than anyone's relationship with their so-called man or girl. Some of these women be tripping with their so-called relationships and they need to figure that shit out on their own. April, I would appreciate it if you could air this ASAP because I don't know what to do. And because you have kids, I'm sure you can give me some advice. Thank you. It's the entitlement of Latibia. And y'all know I'll be real for real and blunt on this on this real talk. You know, I'm just for real. I'm just going to say how I feel. But Latibia, you got some fucking nerve to come at me and talk about you've been waiting over two weeks to get this um, aired out. Prior to this email, you been sent me one two weeks ago and how your shit is more important than everybody else's because they talking about relationships and they need to figure it out on their own. Why don't you figure it out on your own about your damn child? This is the reason why your daughter act the way she do. This is the reason why your daughter act the way she do. You are a prime example of the reason why she act the way she does. Okay? You're, you're very tough self-entitled you it's the audacity the entitlement for me this is what i'm talking about with people like if you need something done you don't come at people with this disrespect you don't think that anything that you just said in this email was disrespectful to me or my viewers no disrespect to anyone else who has written in but i feel like my situation is more important that's how you know it's going to be disrespect when a person start off with no disrespect like 
that's disrespectful. You're not, a, you're, you're not, you're not as more important than anyone else. You're, you're, you're not, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know you from a hole in the wall can of paint, nor does anybody else. All we know is what we're reading, but I'm going to be honest and tell you this. You're the reason why your daughter acts the way she does. I can see it in this email, like straight facts. I can see the reason why your daughter is mouthy, chit chatty, like you say, running off at the mouth, disrespectful because she has to get it from nobody but you just from this email alone. Yeah, you might be frustrated with her, but we can see I'm going to pull the wool from over your eyes. Sweetheart, your daughter is you. Prime example. You are the prime example of your daughter. You are the reason why your daughter acts the way she does. Now, yeah, I got kids. I got kids. I'm not going to say that none of my kids was ever disrespectful to me. They have been their kids. That's what they do. Everybody be disrespectful to somebody at a time in their life. Let's not all sit here and act like nobody was ever been disrespectful to somebody or another in their time of life. Because we have been. I've been disrespectful multiple times. Two people, two people in my family, two strangers. I'll be the first to admit that shit. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But... I'm not saying I'm the best mother in the world. I'm not saying I'm the worst mother in the world, but my kids have been unruly at times. However, you just said in this email that she go to school dressed a certain type of way, like she's ready to walk the streets, but you also said you buy her clothes and give her money. So are you the one buying her these little hooker outfits? I don't know what you want to call them. Street wearing outfits, okay? Street wearing outfits, okay? I don't know if you want to call them that, but you know, look like you're going to work the streets outfits. is You don't want to inspire them for her. You don't want us giving her the money. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. You have to teach your children to be responsible, to be respectful to not only people, but themselves. OK, that's the number one key. And yeah, I get I get the social media shit. Like, I'll be the first to tell you. I've said this in the past and I'll say it again. A lot of this generation do feel that they're all their answers are on the Internet or social media. None of them know anything about a library. None of them know anything about a dictionary. None of them know anything about looking up something without Google. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying when I grew up in my times, we had to go to the library. We had to look it up. We had to find facts. That's what we had to do. It wasn't as easy as it is now. I don't know what y'all gonna do when the internet shut down. It ain't no Google, ain't no social media. And yeah, a lot of these young people do go off of TikTok and what people talk about on TikTok. I know that. And it is very annoying. It is. It is. Because they feel like they do know everything because it's on the internet. Girl, listen, if I tell y'all the sky is green and posted all on the internet, are y'all going to believe me? Are y'all going to go research it? Are y'all going to look up and look? What are you going to do? You know what I'm saying? Not everybody that's on the internet is, is shooting true facts. You know what I'm saying? They're definitely not shooting true facts. Sometimes you have to put your foot down. You got to be real stern. So now you're giving this girl money. Let's see if you're giving your daughter money. You buy her clothes. I'm pretty sure she has a phone. You know what I'm saying? Because she's calling her father. She's definitely not calling him on your cell phone. So, of course, you're giving her gifts and things. Yeah, clothes and food and all of that. We definitely will need but you don't have to keep continuously buying her clothes and keep continuously giving her money sometimes you need to put your foot down sweetheart start taking things from them start taking away their phones start taking away their laptops their computers unless they're gonna use it for schoolwork just start taking shit away you won't have to sit down talk strong and firm to these young ladies out here and these young men but if you want them to do the right thing and do to be the right person in life you need to have a chit chat a real heart to heart with them you know i can't say that my kids my kids were 100 perfect because they were not but they knew that i did not tolerate a lot of shit so therefore, I didn't have to go through life with them backlashing at me or, or telling me off or telling me to worry about what people my age are wearing. Never once have I ever had to worry about any of those things for my kids, my daughters, my sons, never, okay? However, my son who's in trouble right now, he did give me some run for my money when he was like 15 or 16. I had to put that in effect, okay? I had to put that in check. But I just feel like this, like we are, we are like the role models for our children. Though some people may not think that way, we are. They see what how we, how we act, how we dress, how we respond, how we do. They are going to copy and follow suit if kids are impressionable they are like sponges they soak up everything they say this about young kids like at the age of two honey no they that that shit is, is still continuing throughout their teenage years they are very impressionable they see things on the internet and they follow through with it they do it all these dumbass challenges that they'll go do so it doesn't just start when they're little kids it starts and it continues okay even adults be impressionable unfortunately mm -hmm. some adults just feel like Everything that's on TikTok or the internet is true facts, okay? Like, straight up, true facts. I don't know how that is, but I tell you what, I do not, find, I do not fall for none of these scams. 
these foolish bullshits, none of these TikTok shops, none of this bullshit. I don't fall for it. I don't, I don't know what it is about me, but I do not fall for no kind of scams telling me, oh, well, you got money or this and this and this going to happen to you or buy this from my TikTok shop. Girl, I don't fall for none of that shit because whatever I see on a TikTok shop, I will go look at my ass on Amazon and whatever I see or hear somebody on TikTok looking or talking about, girl, I will go and research the shit. I am not going to go off of anybody on no goddamn TikTok, Instagram, and sometimes even YouTube. Same thing like with me. This is my opinions to you. What I would do, what I would feel. I'm not giving you facts of how you should treat your kids. I'm just telling you how I would do it, how my opinions, and just from personal life experience. You know what I'm saying? But Lativia, I really feel like your daughter is a prime example of yourself. You're a reflection of her. You are her reflection. She is your reflection. You and her, and she is one. She is just following behind how you act. And just from reading your email, lets me know that I'm not saying that you you um you rowdy or ratchet, but you very um vocal okay you're very vocal and i say this because you like saying how people your your ish is more important because they need to figure out how they can deal with a woman or their man relationship on their own well i could say that about you and your unruly daughter you need to figure that shit out on your own. I'm not a psychologist. I am not a therapist. I don't know what to tell your daughter. I am not her school counselor. I don't know what to tell your daughter. You know her better than me. You know her better than anybody watching this motherfucking video. But I see where she get her attitude and her demeanor from. And it, and it shows all in this fucking email right here. Now, as far as the clothes, you buy her clothes. What kind of clothes are you buying her? Are you buying her hoochie fire clothes? If your daughter has some hoochie fire clothes, then why don't you remove them from her dresser drawers? Why don't you remove them from her room? Why don't you remove them from her okay that's where you need to start at because there's no way on god's green earth would i allow my 15 year old she said 15 right my daughter mumsy is 16 now but there's no way i would allow my 15 or my 16 year old dressed like anybody's about to look like she's going to work on the streets okay that's not about to happen there's no way you about to leave my house like that but see this is the problem you some of you women out here some of you parents out here y'all be ready to be their friends first it's great to have a great relationship with any of your children and, 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 and allow them to see that you are always available and you are always available for them to talk to you. It's great. But you got to put a like, you know, what I'm saying there's a border. You know, what I'm saying there's barriers, friends and parenting, friends and parenting. You know, what I'm saying I'm your mother and I can still be your friend. But let's not take it to the point where you think like you can say or do whatever you want to me or in front of me. That's just how I'm feeling. Now, Latvia, can I give you some personal advice to say my opinion it's my opinion too when you want something done for yourself regardless if it's from me or from anybody it could be somebody at the store it could be your landlord your bank somebody in your family when you need something done there is a way to go about it you never should approach a person with an unruly nasty tactic of speaking to them in this manner the way you spoke to me in this email normally when you get belligerent and disrespectful to me i won't do a goddamn thing for you and that's straight facts i don't give a fuck who you are I want to do a goddamn thing for you. So when you want to approach, when you want something from someone, there's a way to approach them. Not saying you got to kick they, kiss their ass. Not saying you got, you know, you know, brown nose, bottom gifts. But what I'm saying is there's a way to approach a person. And the way you came at me and anybody else that's watching this was just totally unruly and disrespectful. Everybody's issues are important. I don't give a fuck if somebody lost their dog. That shit is important to me. And if you write me, that shit is important. I don't give a fuck if you couldn't figure out how to make macaroni and cheese and you needed my opinion in an email. That shit is important because you took out the time and your day to write me and ask me for my opinion or my advice. So everybody's issues are important, regardless of what the fuck they are. What you feel is important to you and what they feel is important to them is means it's important. Now, don't try to make your shit sound better than anybody else's because you got a problem with your daughter. Here's the problem. It starts at home and it's with you. And I'm not trying to be disrespectful to you, but I'm just shooting back and I'm telling you what it is. The problems that you got going on with your daughter starts with you. And just by reading this email, lets me see that she get her attitude and her demeanor all from Lativia. Now, you can feel however you want to feel about me and that's fine. That's okay. You know what I'm saying? Because not everybody going to like me. Not everybody going to love me. And not everybody going to fucking hate me. Okay? And guess what? <clears throat> Regardless of how you feel about me, I'm still going to keep pushing through throughout the day. And you asked me for my opinion, and I gave it to you. 
Your daughter's demeanor and attitude starts at home. You need to put your foot down. You need to take away the hoochie fire clothes. You need to stop giving her money unless it's necessary, necessary. And you need to put boundaries. You need to speak with her father and you need to let him know that there are boundaries and there are rules in my home. So that way he doesn't get involved in it. Maybe you need to take her phone away from her. Maybe you need to pop up at her school when she doesn't know make appearances. These are the things that you got to do with your kids. Maybe you need to sit down or have a real discussion with her because your attitude and your reaction or your ways is rubbing off on your daughter. And I see that right here through this email. So it is what it is. So on that note, we're going to end this. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can give a TV a, y'all advice if y'all want to, y'all comments. But you know what I mean? The disrespect is real. This is teenagers. They do be disrespectful. And it's unfortunate they, they do believe everything that they see on social media. Is it going to stop today because of this video? No, it's not. They're going to continuously feel like whatever they read or see on the internet, they're going to believe it. You know what I'm saying? They're going to believe it. They are impressionable. These young people are very impressionable. So you need to watch what you say and do around a lot of them. That's what, that's just what I feel. And you do need to instill good values in them. Like it's nothing wrong with being polite to a person greeting a person a lot of people will walk in an establishment and not even say hello when the person that's working there said good morning people will walk out roll their eyes and that's these are not just young people that do this is full-grown people i see this shit all the time and it starts with home training like I, i'm not the best person in the world i tell y'all this all the time but i will be honest and say i give everybody grace and i give everybody that i care respect because i want to be respected and i try to treat everybody the same way that i want to be treated that's just me as a person i'm not i might not have been like this all my life because i wasn't okay but we have to go through shit, certain shit in life to realize the person that we need to be and realize the person that we are or who we are and who we want to be. And like I've been saying forever or uh, for a while, I just try to be a better me every day. You know what I mean? Like there are times when there are plenty of times when I want to pop off on people and go off. Just like with this email, I could have been like, nah, bitch, I'm not reading your motherfucking email. I don't give a fuck what you're going through. I don't care about what your daughter going through. But that's not the type of person that I want to be. You know what I'm saying? I try to instill something in everybody and leave you with a little bit of something to think about. You know what I'm saying? Even if it is about her daughter, I might not have gave her all the answers that she needs with her daughter, but I was being honest and I let her know. I think that your daughter, I think that your daughter is a mini version of you. I'm just being honest. That's probably not what she wanted to hear. I get that. But from what I read and from what I'm seeing in this email, it's definitely something that needs to be addressed. Like you just can't write somebody or ask somebody to do something for you with a major attitude. What makes you feel like when you have a major attitude, are uh, you getting violent with somebody or violent with somebody that they're going to do something for you? And I say this because I see shit like this on social media all the time. You see these young girls, they can go into restaurants or wherever and they're not getting the service they want or they missing something or they French fries is cold. And they start hopping over the fucking counter, acting up, throwing up the signs, throwing up the fucking whatever. They just throwing it up. Okay. Okay? And they feel like because they acted like ratchet like this, that they going to get something done for them. Girl, I, I'm telling you what, like you act ratchet to me and I will turn my back on you. But I just needed you to see that you are the prime example. You are the reason why your daughter is acting up. What is the reason? What is the reason? Don't you know New York bitches are savages? What was the reason? What was the reason? What was the reason? What was the reason? You are the reason, okay? So on that note, stay diva and divalicious. I gotta go. I didn't talk y'all ears off enough. I love y'all all, and I'll see y'all the next one.